What is up guys, McAfee Speed coming at ya. Incredibly intense episode today that I have no idea how it's gonna pan out. We have some prototype ammunition to run through a brand new platform to market. The BMW S45 is the most powerful semi-automatic PCP air gun on the planet, hands down. Pretty much been tested, proved, and seen to be true across multiple YouTube channels over the last couple of weeks. This S45 steel core spike penetrator is untested completely. I have almost all of these that exist currently in the entire world. These are way, way, way outside the realm of normal. And like I said, I have no idea what these are gonna do. They could tumble, they could fly straight as an arrow, they could punch through quarter inch AR plate. I don't know what they're gonna do, but I do wanna go ahead and spend this episode seeing what's gonna happen together. I've already got one magazine. I have my phone set up. Wonderful, super, way to be a YouTuber. Hey bro, we forgot your I mean, what am I gonna tell him? Sounds fast. <laughs> Are we in framed? Yeah, you don't have your crony in, but that's yeah. cool. That's cool. They know. They know what's up. Ah, okay. <sighs> now that we have our crony set up, now that we have our magazine ready to rock and roll, and we have our sight mark wraith in operational status, let's get right into it. Favorite part of the whole rifle. Yeah. The barrel is so short and stubby that I keep wanting to like reach out to stabilize it, but I realize I'm almost putting my fingers past the business end. I don't want to end up with the old Uzi finger from the 70s, right? <laughs> Left side target, steel core penetrator ammo, fire. Oh my god, that is the hardest bullseye I have ever pulled with this rifle in my entire life. The whole red dot is gone. I've got to go see that. Yo! Look at that! I'm not that good, so for me that's a good result. This dimple right here is last week's S45 on the steel plate trying to penetrate this torso target. Insert footage here. 696. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. If there's a steel torso target out there, I'm f***ing it up every single time. I can't help it. I'm guaranteed, right? I'm going to slap it. I'm definitely going to go ahead and continue this group for you boys, but before the end of this video, I'm going to see if I can laser bore a hole in this steel torso target with those penetrators. 860 feet per second on that last shot, and I'm going to go ahead and weigh a roundup out here in the field for you guys so that we can see exactly what these weigh. Because once again, prototype, I have no idea. Alright gentlemen, this round, this scale, tear it out. 130, 130.1, about 130 grains, give or take. <sighs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and continue. Realistically, 860 feet is butt naked speed for this rifle. That's faster than I've seen anything come out. Wow, what a noise. This doesn't want to cycle. Lucky, yo, there's a hole in my mag and they don't want to rotate, dog. They're just a little bit too long, brother. They don't want to rotate for me, oh. Let's see if we can get through this magazine anyways. I'm gonna do everything I can to get through this for you, bro. I don't know, is this going to work or not? I, I don't know if this is going to work or not, boys. I really don't. But you know what? I'm going to put the magazine back inside the gun, and I'm going to continue to shoot this, because effectively this means nothing to me. It's the testing that's important. That's why they build ramrods. Based on the fact that I might only get one shot out of this, I'm going directly to old Chrome Dome out there. That steel torso target's about to see what happens. Oh, like a laser beam. 
for sure right through it. Dry fire. No rotation on the magazine again. Now I really did throw it in the dirt. All right, so we've added a little bit of a dry lube to this thing here. What I think is end up happening here is the rounds themselves are slightly too long and the tips are dragging on the inside of the magazine and they're coming off kilter to a point where they end up like a, uh, an interference fit almost, right? They're wedged in there. I still don't care though. I'm still gonna go ahead and throw all that I can out of this magazine down to that target. Eight hundred and forty seven feet per second on that previously recorded shot. I owe it to you guys to go to the gongs. We blew a laser board hole in that little tiny plate. Let's see what happens on that AR 500. Time to inspect. Wow. Once again, I can't overlook the accuracy potential here. We also 100% cannot overlook the fact that we blew all the way through that steel torso target without even what looks like slowing down. Pretty telling results here. Let's go ahead and check out our gong. Weird scratch. No true damage, but very, very, very interesting because I guarantee you that wasn't there. Once again, we did not get a rotation on that magazine and based on the fact that this is a semi-automatic platform, I just don't think I'm doing you guys, the viewers, any favors by trying to shoot this as a single shot rifle. A lot of people are going to go ahead and take a look at this episode and feel like we came out here and fell flat on our face. Never forget one thing. If you fall on your face, you moved six feet forward. Pick yourself back up and continue the good fight. This right here is a good start that has a lot of potential. Incredible amount of potential. We saw it blast through the plate. We saw the impeccable accuracy on the first shot. The good nominal 800-ish feet per second, 850-ish feet per second velocity that's going to lend itself to stability downrange. And we saw repeatability as far as being able to get these into the barrel and into the breech and out of the muzzle brake without a jam. What we didn't see is a correct nominal length and perhaps this dreidel-shaped pellet being just too tall and pointy to cycle reliably in this magazine. Lucky Seven, I'm talking to you right through my camera lens. You've done an outstanding job thinking outside the box and getting the ball all the way to the one yard line. Put this thing in the end zone for us, brother, and get this thing dialed in so that we have that force multiplier style ammunition of a steel core penetrator in 457 caliber for the S45. All right, guys, I think this would be a great place to go ahead and end today's episode, but if you'd like to see this all right, guys, I think it's be a great place to end today's episode, but if you like today's episode, give it a thumbs up. You want to see more content like this, make sure you subscribe for more with that notifications button so you can stay current on the channel as well as when these videos come out. If you really like these videos, make sure you share it so that somebody else can see it. And I'll catch you boys in the next one.